Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica J, and I was just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, uh, which women out there are a total, complete waste of my time? Well, if so, I'm glad you asked, because today I have 10 of those women that you need to step back from once and for all so that you can move on with women that aren't wasting your time. Simple as that. And to make sure you never waste anything else of yours on this God-given planet or miss out on another one of my videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right here, right now. Okay, so unfortunately, a lot of men out there, maybe you included, have this idea that they have to take what's in front of them. Y'all have the mentality sometimes that, I don't know when the next best one is gonna come along, so I gotta keep this one, I gotta keep her for God, no, who knows about that. I don't know, that's what I assume y'all men sound like when you are hanging on to a woman that you shouldn't be hanging on to, because y'all are heavy anyway. So, if any of these 10 women sounds like a woman, you might be wasting your time on, I suggest you reassess where you're at, who you are, and what you should do for yourself moving forward because fine, if you wanna keep hanging on, hang on, waste your time, I don't care, it's your life. But if you know that you don't wanna look like a jackass anymore to her and yourself and possibly other people who know what you're doing, then you can walk away proudly knowing that you were the one who made that choice. So the first girl is the entitled girl. Now I've talked about this in other videos, how with the whole women's empowerment movement, a lot of women have taken it upon themselves to feel very entitled to have everything they want and be given everything they want just because they have the puss. Which fine, you want the puss, she has one, maybe you should, you know, do some nice things to get it. But at the end of the day, a woman who's sitting there and like, well, you better have a job and you better like be six feet tall and um, you better make as much money as I make. And then the Any girl that already has that set of criteria at you without even having anything to offer herself is a waste of your time. Sadly, I have a lot of girlfriends that are like that who are like, oh, well, what does he do for a living? Bitch, what do you do for a living? You're unemployed right now. So. Go for the empowered women, yes, but not the entitled ones who don't have shit to offer and still expect the best. The second girl you need to avoid is the man-hater. This is the girl that's been burned so badly in the past that she looks at you like, well, I had a guy who cheated on me, so like, you better not fuck up. First of all, any woman that's gonna hold another man's fuck ups over you is fucked up in and of herself. It's not up to you to make a woman feel good about herself and it's not up to you to prove to her that you're a great guy. Maybe she's not great. How come she doesn't have to prove herself to you? She's the one that got cheated on with another woman. Maybe she really sucks and deserved it. At the end of the day, there are plenty of women out there who are very like, ah, men suck, all men are like this, all men, wah, wah, wah. And guess what? Any woman who is like that does not deserve you. The third woman is what I like to call the social media mess. This is the girl that would much rather be on her phone than be on your dick. Whether it's over posting about everything or over storying or over sharing. This is a girl who is way more invested in how she looks to the world than how she is as a person with you. It's totally fine to have social media. We all have it, right? Jessica Hollywood on Instagram, don't forget. But if you know that she lives more in there than she does in the real world, I would be very skeptical of what what she can even provide for you. Which brings me to the fourth girl, which is the over giver. This is the girl who immediately starts showering you with niceties. And I baked this cake for you, but I also baked these cupcakes for you in case you only like cupcakes, but why not have a cake too? A lot of guys see these girls and they go, oh my God, she treated me so nice. I should stick around. Only to find out later down the line that she was love bombing you in order to get stuff back in return. People in general who love bomb, which is a form of, how do you say it? Like it's a, a sub control where you now feel indebted to this person. We women hate when you guys do it uh, with gifts and shit. So we should be no different. It might not be in the form of gifts, but it might be like, oh my God, I deleted my Tinder after we started talking for the first five minutes. Because like, you just seem like a really great guy. Like, well, bitch, you don't even know me. Chill out. So if you start to see that she is giving more than you're giving, you don't know her anything. 
give her the boot. The fifth girl is what I like to call the leader. The leader honor, to be exact. This is the girl that, eh, you know, she doesn't really respond to all your texts. She's never contacted you first. Um, but she's still around and accepting your meals and your affection and your compliments. That's about it. Is she giving it back in return? Sometimes, sometimes not. There's this thing in psychology called intermittent reinforcement, where a lot of us, if we're reinforced at all, we will hang on to that one moment where, look, I did get a text back from her once. She must like me. Even though there's way more instances of you never getting texts back from her. What our brains do is our brains decide for us which is the answer. So is the answer that she actually doesn't like you because she only texted you back once? Or is the answer she must like me because she did text me back once? And that's where our brain goes. So don't be fooled by the leader because you'll be led nowhere into her vast vagina, which plenty of men are probably in already. The sixth girl is who I call the friend. This is the girl who knows you want her and is still okay with being friends with you. The reason I say friend is because no self-respecting woman or respectable woman would want to be friends with a guy that she knows is into her. Because to us, we wouldn't want to lead him on. If we know that you like us, we're not gonna be okay with being friends with you because we don't want you to get the wrong idea. We respect you enough to know that that's not something we wanna do to you. However, a girl who knows you're into her and is like, yeah, sure, we can still be friends, is clearly getting something out of you to her benefit and knows damn well she doesn't have to give anything back in return. The seventh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh girl is the ex. Maybe you broke up and you're still in love with her. Maybe you're broke up and she's still in love with you. Maybe you broke up and you're both still motherfucking in love with each other. However, she refuses to go down that road with you again, even though she knows you want to. But, and there's a but, she still reaches out and responds. Why? Because she still gets something out of your presence in her life. But is she putting out? No. Do we want to hang on to a girl who is not putting out? No, and I have nothing else to say about that. Ah. The eighth girl is the willing cheater. I can't tell you how many guys write in about women that already have boyfriends or husbands that are leading them on. Let me tell you something, any woman who is flirting with you, giving you attention, wanting to be with you, and she already has another man that she goes home to, is just getting all her needs met when this guy can't meet all her needs. So while you're there probably fulfilling an emotional need, he's there probably filling up her vagina. Is that what you want, some other man putting his semen in a vagina you're trying to get? Ew. On the flip side, a woman who was willing to be with you even though you're in a relationship. What does that say about that woman, skank? What? So yeah, don't even waste your fucking time. If you want to, whatever, it's your life. I'm just saying. Now the ninth girl is who I like to call the just not quite. Okay, bless his heart and bless this girl's heart, my ex. Again, I hope he never sees this. Him and I are great friends. And he texts me the other day with this sob story about how he met the perfect girl. Perfect girl, she plays the saxophone and the piano. She's an ER doctor, two PhDs on top of her medical degree. She's from Italy. She's published two novels. Oh my fucking God, what a catch. However, he is not sexually attracted to her in any way whatsoever. God, I hope they never see this. Here's the thing. You might like a girl who has all the great looks, but she's dumb as dicks. Or she might be amazingly great on paper, but you don't wanna put your penis inside her. I'm telling you right now, you don't have to settle. So many guys think that they have to take the girl who's great enough in their laps right now because I don't know if I'll ever find another one in my lap ever again. I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't have to settle. I don't even know if there's anything more I have to say about that, but you absolutely can get absolutely everything you want if you don't waste your time on girls that just don't quite do it for you. And the 10th girl, the one that got away. I'm gonna tell you right now, if she's the one that got away, she left for a reason. And if you're sticking around, holding on, trying the same shit to get her back or 
pine after her, you're wasting your time. And unless you do something different or go to therapy and become a better version of yourself and a better partner to her, then you may as well just fucking jerk off because you're wasting her time and you're wasting yours. I can't tell you how many clients of mine write in day in and day out pining after this girl that friend zoned them or this ex that she was perfect. Well, what have you done to become better? Anything? No? Then okay, go for somebody else. Y'all clearly aren't compatible as you are now. And you know what? She may not even be good enough for you. You may not even be able to see how wrong she was for you. And until you could take a good look at yourself and really assess, did I do everything I could? Did I try my best? Did she try her best? Until you can actively look at yourself and actively do something about it, it's just a complete waste of your time. So those are the 10 ladies that you need to stop putting all this effort and energy into at no, uh, what is the word? To no avail, that's what I meant. But if you know that you didn't try your best and there are things that you could do and <laughs> there are women out there that you know you deserve and want to get. Don't forget to hit my join button so you can find out how I can help you personally to get those women that aren't a waste of your time. So thanks for watching as always, guys, and I'll see you next time.